Boys and girls, and welcome back to another week of Illuminate. I hope you're ready to have lots of fun. So, the first thing we need to do is get warmed up. So, up, off your seats, and onto your feet, and give yourself a big shake. And let's get ready to warm up. So, this week we're going to do a new one called Boogaloo. Okay, but I need a helper for this one. So, everybody, welcome my helper. What's the flag? Andrew! Hiya. We're social distancing so he needs to stay in the background. But he has shouts so everybody can hear him. What you guys need to do is say everything that he says. So I'm going to ask you, have you done a certain dance move? For example, have you done the boogaloo? What's that you say? Okay, so you need to copy him. Are you ready? Everybody ready? Good to go? You ready? I, I was born right, good to go. Let me see you boogaloo. What's that you said? I said, let me see you boogaloo. What's that you said? I said, boogaloo. Boom, boogaloo. I said, boogaloo. Boom, boogaloo. Let me see your crocodile. What's that you said? I said, let me see your crocodile. What's that you said? I said, crocodile. Crock, crock, get that. I said, boogaloo, boo, boogaloo. Let me see your popping corn. What's that you say? I said, let me see your popping corn. What's that you say? I said, popping corn, pop, popping corn. I said, crock, get that. Crock, crock, get that. I said, boogaloo, boo, boogaloo. Let me see your hula hoop. What's that you say? I said, let me see your hula hoop. What's that? You said? I said hula hoop, hoop, hula hoop. I said pop, pink corn, pop, pop, pink corn. I said crack, get down, crack, crack, get down. I said boogaloo, boo, boogaloo. Let me see you mow the lawn. What's that you said? I said let me see you mow the lawn. What's that you said? I said mow the lawn, mow, mow the lawn. I said hula hoop, hoop, hula hoop. I said. Popping corn, pop, popping corn. I said, crop, get down, crop, crop, get down. I said, boo, galoo, boo, boo, galoo. Let me see you drive your car. What's that you say? I said, let me see you drive your car. What's that you say? I said, drive your car, drive, drive your car. I said, mow the lawn, mow, mow the lawn. I said, hula hoop, hula hoop. I said, pop. Pink pop, pop, pink I said, crack, get down, crack, crack, get down. I said, boogaloo, boo, boogaloo. Let me see you fly your plane. What's that you say? I said, let me see you fly your plane. What's that you say? I said, fly your plane, fly, fly your plane. I said, drive your car. Drop, drop your cup. I said, mow the lawn, mow, mow the lawn. I said, hula hoop, hoop, hula hoop. I said, pop, pink coat, pop, pop, pink coat. I said, crop, get down, crop, crop, get down. I said, galoo, boo, boo, galoo, boo, boo, galoo. Let me see you go to sleep. What's that you say? I said, let me see you go to sleep. What's that you say? I said, go to sleep. Go, go to sleep. I said, go to sleep. Go, go to sleep. <laughs> Oh, 
Hi everybody, so it's now time for the answers to last week's quiz questions. So the first question was what part of the armour did we learn about last week and what part of the body does it protect? So as you all know we learned about the shield of faith and just like the Romans shield um, the soldier could crouch down behind it and it would protect the whole body. The, our shield of faith protects the whole of us from Satan's attacks, from all of his attacks. Okay, so question number two. Paul says that Satan's attacks are like fiery arrows. Um, how does Satan attack us? So Satan is sneaky, isn't he? And he showed that from the very start in the Garden of Eden, whenever he tricked Eve, didn't he? And um, Satan tries to find our weaknesses and we'll not always attack in the same way, which is really good. Like the, um, the Roman's shield could be moved. Um, our shield can protect us from all attacks that Satan can throw at us. Um, he can attack us by getting us to doubt ourselves, to doubt other people. He can tell us lies about ourselves and about God. But our shield of faith reminds us of God's promises. Um, which expose Satan's lies and remind us of the goodness of God and that he has us and um, he protects us. Okay, three, who is the only person who tells the truth? So God is the only person who um, tells the truth all the time and Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. And we know that his promises are true and they will never fail. And whenever we look at the rainbow, that reminds us that God's promises never fail. Okay, how does question number four, how does the shield of faith protect us? So Satan wants us to doubt God, but by strengthening our shield of faith, we can um, learn about God's promises and learn to count on God to keep his promises. Um, there's nothing that Satan can do to separate us from um, God's promises and the plans he has for your life. Okay, question number five. There's lots of questions, isn't there? Who wrote these? <laughs> so name two promises of God. Okay, there's low. The Bible is full of promises of God for your life. Um, he will never leave us or abandon us. He, his love for us is everlasting. He sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for us. Um, if we ask him to forgive our sins, he will forgive us our sins. And he has prepared a place for us in heaven. Um... And my favourite one, can anybody remember what it was? It was that I have plans to prosper you, plans for good and not for evil. That God has plans for your life, awesome plans for your life, greater than any plans that you could have for yourself. Okay, question number six was, what was the cool thing? I couldn't read my writing there. What was the cool thing that we learned that the Roman soldiers' shields could do? And what can we learn about this? from this. So the Roman soldier shields could interlock, they could attach together to the soldier beside them, which meant that they could be protected from the front, up above, from the fiery arrows, from behind, from the sides. And this reminds us that um, whenever we're getting a hard time, we can lock our shield of faith onto that of our friends and our family who can help us um, and remind us about God's awesome promises and they can hold us up and strengthen us whenever Satan's attacking us. And we can do the same for other people too. See you later. Hello, hello. Hi Illuminate Kids. Uh, my name's Scott, if you don't know. I am 24 years old and I have long hair. There you go, now you know everything about me. Um, I've been asked to look at the next part of the armour of God, uh, which we're gonna look at today, and that is the helmet of salvation. That's what we're gonna look at today. So let me get my helmet. For today, this is my helmet of salvation. I'm gonna see if I can clip it in as well. Lovely, lovely. I've never looked better. So the helmet of salvation, I hope you're laughing at me at the minute. Uh, in Ephesians 6, in verse 17, that's where we find, where we list all the armour of God. And in verse 17, it mentions, and take the helmet of salvation. This is the helmet. So for today, I'm using a bicycle helmet that most of you probably have if you have a bike at home. But back in Roman times in the Bible, helmets were much stronger, much sturdier, and they wouldn't they would have protect the top top of your head here. They also would have had bits protecting the sides of your head. 
and then also they would have had a bit at the very back to protect the back of your neck and the back of your head as well. So it was really, really good um, at keeping you safe. Also, they had a little bit that would have come down the middle of their face, which would have covered their nose. And that also meant if someone tried to hit them from the front, it then covered and protected their eyes and their nose and most of their face. So everything about their head was pretty well protected. So what was a helmet used for? In one word, protection, just to keep you safe. Who used the helmets? I've already said it already. Uh, and it was Rome or soldiers would have used them in battle or in a fight, they would have had a helmet on. The Bible only uses one verse in this chapter to tell us about the helmet of salvation. We think that this is because there isn't much to be explained. We all know that helmets are for our protection to keep us safe. So I've used a couple of big words there, a helmet of salvation. So why is it called that? Why, why do we call it that name? So a helmet, as we know, protects a soldier against deadly blows to the head if someone's trying to hit them or strike them. When someone was trying to hurt them, this protected them. And if a soldier went into battle or into a fight without their helmet, so imagine I'm going into battle now without a helmet. I have no protection. There's nothing protecting my head and my face here. Uh, so someone really could have done them some damage and really hurt them. But when you put on your helmet, what are we? We're protected. We're protected. So physically, someone tried to hit me now in the head. I should be okay. All good. That's pretty safe. Can't feel anything at all. But spiritually speaking, as Christians, we believe that God protects us as well. So the helmet of salvation provides us hope. So the helmet of salvation provides hope and protects our mind against anything that could hurt us, such as people lying, it's called deceit um, and discouragement, people just sort of letting us down or making us feel sad. But the mind and the helmet of salvation, when we focus on God, that helps to protect us. What does salvation mean? Salvation means being saved and receiving deliverance. So what that means is being saved by giving our lives to God. I know a lot of you are already Christians and you've already done this, um, but that what that means is we move from a life of sin and now living in a way that we can give praise to God. It means choosing to accept God in our lives, saying sorry for all the bad things that, and the wrong things that we've done before and all the wrong things that we might, will do in the future. And what does God do? He accepts us into his family and we become his children. It's really exciting. I love it. I love it. It's a gift from God. We can't earn this. We just have to ask him for that gift of salvation, of him taking us into his family as his children. When you've done that, you have salvation and that then means you have protection from God as well and he will keep you safe. I think the only other question to ask is when? When do I put on the helmet of salvation? Well, if you're a Christian and you believe that God lives in your heart and in your lives, every day when you get up in the morning, when you wake up, that you all get up really, really early, before your breakfast, before brushing your teeth and even before you go to school, thank, give thanks to God, say thank you to him for accepting you into his family as his child and for giving you hope and protection when you put on the armour of God. So. When we get up in the morning, focus on God and give him thanks. And that's how we, as his children, can receive protection um, and just have a great day. Everyone good? I hope that's okay. The helmet of salvation. So remember, if you remember nothing else, it gives you protection. What does salvation mean? It means being saved and God giving us hope. And we can put it on every morning, every day. 
enjoy the rest of your time. I think what we're going to do next is an Armour of God song. I think you all know it already, so get your guitars ready. Let's go. the belt of truth put on my boots gotta tell the good news the armor of god and the shield of faith got my sword and my helmet now it's time to pray Things first, you got the belt of truth. Hey-oh, hey-oh. Put on my boots, I gotta tell the good news. Hey-oh, hey-oh. The armor of God and the shield of faith. Hey-oh, hey-oh. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray. Hey-oh, hey-oh. Put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. Put on. Now in faith we can stand, stand, stand Against every evil plan, plan, plan Now it's time to be strong, strong, strong He has won I put on the full armor of God Stand strong against the evil one I put on the full armor of God The full armor of God I put on the full armor of God Stand strong against the evil one I put on Hello, hello. So now we're going to move on to our questions. Uh, we've got five questions for you today to look at. So the first one, number one, is what is a helmet used for? What is a helmet used for? Number two, who uses helmets? Who uses helmets? Number three is, why is it called the helmet of salvation? Why is it called the helmet of salvation? Number four, what does salvation mean? What does salvation mean? And number five, when do I put on the helmet of salvation? When do I put on the helmet of of salvation. Just pause in between all of those questions so you can have a think about the answers and hopefully you'll get them all. Hey guys, we've had a really great fun morning with you this morning and uh, we really hope that you've had fun too and you've learned something as well today and uh, we just want to pray so let's just pray. Everybody close your eyes. Thank you Lord for a lovely morning. Thank you Lord that we get to come and worship and learn about you online together. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Lord, we just pray, Lord, that you look after and bless the children and their families this week and keep them safe. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So guys, um, don't forget if you want to send us any of your videos or send us any work that you've been doing um, or just to drop us a line to say, hey, we're watching, then you can email us at illuminate at carrigelamchurch.co.uk as well if you're new drop us a line and tell us you're watching and if you're enjoying it okay thanks so much everybody have a lovely week bye staring into your eyes makes my heart come alive suddenly brought to life when i met you reaching beyond the skies